In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use the dynamic user coordinate system tool to create features on the faces of 3D objects. Let's say that I wanted to create a hole maybe on top or on the side of this 3D part. I need to be able to sketch on that surface. By default, you are always sketching on the XY plane. However, AutoCAD does have a dynamic UCS tool that allows you to sketch on other surfaces. It's typically on by default, but you can't see the button itself on the status bar, so I'm going to begin by turning that button on. I'm going to click my customization button in the bottom right corner of my status bar. Then I'm going to turn on dynamic UCS. Here is the dynamic UCS button down here at the bottom. It looks like a little UCS with a lightning bolt on. You can see it's already turned on and you won't really see any difference until you actually start a command. So I'll begin with the circle command and you'll see that as I hover over different surfaces of this box, it will highlight those surfaces. So this is AutoCAD recognizing that surface and allowing me to sketch on it. So as you can see, I can sketch on that side there, or if I want to sketch on top, I can do that, or on this side and so on. You can also use object snaps when you're doing this. So if I wanted a circle on the geometric center of this face, I could go ahead and start the circle command and using O track, I could track off of a couple of midpoints. And then I can click to place it right at the center of that surface. One thing I cannot do with dynamic UCS is I cannot sketch on this same plane, but out in space meaning I can't just draw a circle and track out here in space. If I do that, it's just back to the default XY plane. So for something like that, you might want to change your actual UCS and set it to this front surface. I like to use construction lines a lot when I'm doing this. For example, if I wanted something over one and up one on this surface, then I might just use the line command, make sure I'm on that surface, snap to the endpoint, and then I'll just type in at one comma one to locate the point over one one. Then again, if that maybe is going to be the corner of a rectangle or something like that, I can go ahead and go from there. So then obviously once you've created these other sketches, you can extrude, subtract, etc., in order to create the solid features that you're looking for. That concludes this look at the dynamic UCS in AutoCAD.